How many times have you had a nail in your tire, a screw in your tire, a bolt in your tire somehow? I've had many in my pickup trucks and the dump trailers that I've had over the years. The number one place that you're probably going to be getting all of these things would be at the landfill, at the transfer station. The more shingles you work with, the more possible that it is to get those, those nails in the tires. But there is hope. There can be a solution. Um, this is just a part of the solution, especially at your yard. It's definitely possible to be getting some nails, some screws, some bolts, uh, stuff that's left over, some stuff that didn't actually roll out of the dumpster after you dumped it and brought it back maybe uh, to your yard. And I have a small piece of the pie that I think could help you and me. We're gonna find out today how much time and possibly tires I can save. So I got a package in the mail from Amazon. This is a heavy duty magnet sweeper. So I'm gonna unbox it here in a little bit uh, and I'm gonna try it out. Uh, I'm gonna see how much I can get picked up. Um, I know there's things that you know I can easily see with my own eye and just you know grab it as I go as I'm loading dumpsters and I've done that in the past. Throw it in a little trash can and get out on the side here but maybe once a month starting the habit at your yard actually using a sweeper to sweep up your area for as much metal and things that can puncture your tires as possible. Let's check it out. Well, I did have to step out and do some dumpsters real quick, but I just got back. It's the end of the day. I think it's uh, about five o'clock something. And I have got this thing. I, just, I literally just set it off to the side over here and I, and I walked it back and I can literally hear everything just getting pulled right up into that magnet. Let me pull it up, show you a little bit about it. And uh, this was a crazy, crazy fine i think amazon is just at this point they just know what i'm thinking um because this popped up and i'm like man easy no brainer this is perfect um this thing is a 30 let me take you with me here this is a 36 inch magnetic roller here um nice little grip on the handle here i'm not so thrilled about this little part here this is kind of kind of shaky I'll, I'll play with that a little bit uh, maybe I'll get some washers or do something here, but this is kind of how it was already set up. Um, and then the wheels, I just had to put on the locking nuts on the wheels on both sides here. And then the, the real magic, um, which I've never owned one of these before, is this handle right here. You just pull this up. Oh, if it was at the right angle, hold on. Pull this up. And that moves the, the actual magnet up and everything drops off. All of that was just within, I mean, it was literally right up there. That is 20 feet. Just sitting there, hanging out, waiting to puncture. Oh yeah. Just waiting to puncture my tires. I am about to do the whole area here. Um, while I don't have that many dumpsters here, just the two, uh, these are all going out tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm booked for another full weekend again, I think. I'm going to capitalize on this, and I'm going to do do some, some rows back and forth here, see what this actually picks up. I'm going to pick this up again here, and then add to the, to the party what else we got going. Alrighty, so I just did a, a rough walkthrough. Um, I'll probably do a little bit further back, a little bit more uh, in the back area there. Um, there's, there's definitely, I would say, uh, as part of this review and this thought, um, the 36 inch uh, actual magnetic thing here, because of so how, how far wide it is, um, I didn't realize this was gonna be such a problem when dealing with, you know, it's partially gravel uh, partially concrete, partially craziness. There is definitely a little bit of uh, wobble through here. So if you don't have a perfectly uh, good parking lot or something like that, uh, this may not be that helpful for you at the 36 inch 
um, width on this. It says it's 36 by three by four um, of the sweeper there. So um, I would assume, I know they have some smaller ones and uh, some more narrow ones. So uh, maybe do the two foot, maybe even the one foot. The distance in between the wheels, uh, you know, it's not going to be kind of dive, dive bombing the, the different waves of potentially the, uh, the ground there. So um, anyways, for the moment of truth, we have some serious stuff underneath there. Dude, holy smokes. All rusted, all pulled screws, nails. Oh my gosh, just everything. If you don't buy this one, buy something. This could be a huge help to you. Um, I know I've gotten holes in so many stinking tires. It's not even funny. Um, check it out, link down below in the description. If you like it, cool. If you don't, cool. Do something, try to protect your tires. It's one more thing you could do to do that. Um, hope this helps. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. God bless.